space history. Voyager 1 is now a starship. The space probe launched from Central Florida 36 years ago has made it beyond the solar system. NASA says that Voyager 1 has become the first man-made object to reach interstellar space. NASA's Voyager 1 has been zooming through space since 1977. But scientists never expected this. The ancient spacecraft, now 14 billion miles from Earth, just did something impossible. It changed direction on its own. Even creepier, right before turning, it started sending weird signals with patterns that scientists are scrambling to explain. NASA is staying quiet, but insiders are freaking out. Is Voyager trying to tell us something? Did it find something out there in the darkness that changed everything we know about space? The unexpected signal. In the pre-dawn hours of a Tuesday in 2023, Dr. Margaret Chen jolted upright in her chair. The 73-year-old engineer had first joined NASA's Voyager mission in 1972 as a fresh-faced graduate student. Now, nearly five decades later, she stared at her monitor in disbelief. Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object in existence, was sending back signals it had never been programmed to transmit. The aging spacecraft, now over 14.5 billion miles from Earth, had spent years sending back predictable data about the interstellar medium. Tonight was different. Buried within the routine telemetry was a faint rhythmic pattern, a low-frequency hum with mathematical precision. The signal persisted across multiple transmissions, ruling out random interference. More alarming was that this mysterious hum had appeared just days before Voyager made an unexpected adjustment to its trajectory, a maneuver no one at NASA had commanded. The fluorescent lights hummed overhead as Chen's colleagues gathered around her workstation. The room smelled of coffee and electronics, the same scent that had permeated mission control since the 1970s, though the computers had changed from room size machines to sleek monitors. On screen, the anomalous signal pattern pulsed with unsettling regularity. When Voyager 1 launched, Jimmy Carter was president, Star Wars had just premiered in theaters, and the Apple II computer had just been introduced. Now, those signals, traveling at light speed, took over 21 hours to reach Earth, enough time for a person to fly halfway around the world. What had Voyager encountered in the void? What could cause a spacecraft designed to maintain its course through the emptiness between stars to alter its path? The mission that began as an exploration of outer planets had evolved into something entirely unexpected, a mystery at the edge of interstellar space that challenged our understanding of the cosmos and perhaps our place within it. As dawn broke over the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, specialists from across disciplines convened in a secure conference room. The questions hanging in the air were profound. Had Voyager 1 encountered something beyond our understanding? Was this a technical glitch in aging systems or the first detection of something revolutionary? The answer would transform our view of interstellar space and possibly of humanity's solitude in the universe. Origins of a Grand Journey The story of Voyager began with a rare cosmic alignment. In the early 1970s, NASA astronomers realized that Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would soon arrange themselves in a configuration that occurs only once every 176 years. This planetary lineup offered an unprecedented opportunity. A spacecraft could visit all four outer planets in a single mission, using each planet's gravity as a slingshot to propel itself toward the next destination. Gary Flandro, a young engineer at JPL, first recognized this possibility while plotting planetary positions on a circular slide rule. His discovery transformed what might have been separate, costly missions into an elegant grand tour of the outer solar system. The Nixon administration initially cancelled the ambitious grand tour for budgetary reasons, but a scaled-back version emerged. The Voyager program, consisting of two identical spacecraft tasked with exploring Jupiter, Saturn, and potentially beyond. Each Voyager spacecraft resembled a large mechanical insect, standing 13-foot tall with a 12-foot dish antenna serving as its face. 
A long magnetometer boom extended like an insect's proboscis, keeping sensitive magnetic instruments away from the spacecraft's own electronic interference. The main body housed cameras, spectrometers, and computers with less processing power than a modern digital watch. The entire apparatus weighed 1,820 pounds, about as much as a compact car, and drew its power from three radioisotope thermoelectric generators that converted heat from decaying plutonium into electricity. The mission's birth was not without controversy. Environmental activists protested the launch of nuclear material into space, while budget watchdogs questioned the expense of sending probes beyond the acknowledged edge of our planetary system. Nevertheless, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 lifted off from Cape Canaveral atop a Titan IAE Centaur rocket. Voyager 1 followed on September 5 on a faster trajectory that would allow it to reach Jupiter and Saturn before its twin. Mission planners intended the exploration to last about five years. Instead, they created humanity's longest-running space mission and our first true interstellar travelers. The engineering challenges were immense, designing systems that could withstand decades of cosmic radiation, temperatures approaching absolute zero, and the isolation of deep space. Most critically, the spacecraft needed to operate with increasing autonomy as communication delays stretched from minutes to hours. Before the voyagers departed, Carl Sagan and a committee of scientists prepared a special payload, the Golden Record, a gold-plated copper disc containing sounds, music, greetings in 55 languages, and 116 images from Earth. Attached to each spacecraft, these records were a message to the cosmos a time capsule of humanity, intended for any intelligence that might someday encounter these lonely travelers from Earth. Until roughly 2040, though power constraints will likely end the mission sooner. In 2020, a surprising discovery gave the team hope. After a glitch in one of the onboard computers, engineers developed a workaround that rerouted memory usage, effectively extending the system's life. It was a small victory but one that demonstrated the ingenuity still driving the mission. Yet in late 2023, everything changed. The sudden appearance of the anomalous signal, followed by Voyager 1's uncanny correction, shook the team to its core. It wasn't just the mystery of the maneuver. It was the timing. The spacecraft systems were not designed to make autonomous adjustments, especially not so far from Earth. The rhythmic pattern embedded in its signal could not be dismissed as noise. Across NASA, meetings intensified. Cryptographers, linguists, and AI specialists were consulted. What began as a technical anomaly began to feel like a potential message, structured, persistent, and deliberate. Could Voyager 1 have encountered an external force? A region of space with unknown properties? or, most provocatively, evidence of intelligence? The agency released no official statement beyond acknowledging the signal and calling it under review. But insiders described sleepless nights, heated debates, and a growing sense that something unprecedented was unfolding. Some pushed for broadcasting a response, while others warned against alerting unknown entities to our presence. Dr. Chen, now thrust back into the center of the mission, urged caution, but admitted she was haunted by the signal's beauty, its harmonic structure, its repeating intervals. It feels intentional, she told colleagues in a hushed meeting. Like something, or someone, is reaching out. As Voyager 1 drifts ever deeper into the interstellar abyss, humanity watches and waits. A spacecraft built with 1970s technology, long past its expected lifespan, has become the center of a 21st century mystery. Perhaps the signal is a fluke, a quirk of aging circuits. Perhaps the course change was triggered by previously undetected forces in the interstellar medium. Or perhaps, as some whisper, we are no longer alone in the void. Whatever the truth, Voyager 1 continues its silent journey still whispering across the darkness, still listening, still watching.